Hi everyone, welcome back. In this Laravel video tutorial, we are going to learn about the sessions. So, uh, in this video, we will make a, f a simple form, and on the submission of the form, we will uh, put something in the session, and in the next page, we will get the value of sessions which is stored by the form. So, in this process, you can understand how we can create the forms and how we can create a new view and how we can manage the sessions in laravel so let's get started so first of all just you can see that i have the one controller which is the new dot play dot php so here i'm going to make a form and put the put the two fields here first is the input and second is the hidden input uh, why we use hidden input because we have to pass the token which is a CSRF token in the Laravel without that we are able to not able to hit the post request so just take a button also for the hit and type the submit and you can write the click here all right so let's see what we got here okay just now just put the url here a url is url scope resolution method with the two and pass the path where you want to store so my path where i want to store is mm, about all right so i want to send it on the about for that i have to remove the double course from here and just you use the course within the internal path which is the about all right all right so now just see the path here what exactly part path is generated here so you can see that we have the about path here so now just make a one more mm, we can say that uh, view which is the about dot blade dot php all right so for saving the time i'm just copying the stuff from the here and just write here hi and here i will put the username letter so now just check the path is is it fine or not so just copy your route path here and write here with the post because we are going to send the post request here and write here about with the about so let's check it is it working oops so there is some issue i think here because we have to check with the get request actually okay so let's check with the view <laughs> yeah we have to check with the view it okay so we got that here so but we cannot uh this is not the right way to catch it so i'm going to uh put request here and i'm just defining a constant which is the show and this belong to the user controller and if you don't know how to make the controller and other things then please check out the just previous tutorial there is a uh, some simple tutorial about the how we can create the view controller and forms and all with the details so let's ch check here and this is the user control and the function name is show now just write here something like test controller all right so just try to hit with that with our form so okay we are not able to get here the 
CRSF token which we have to generate here so where the form exactly yeah here is a form so put the name here underscore token all right and give the value here with the cs rf underscore token function name and i just paste it here yes this is right correct i'm just confirming confirming that all right so now just try to requ request once more oops we put it in the text box actually so, so i have to use uh, hidden here and text field here all right just enter something in the text box and hit with that so you can see that text con controller is working fine so our form is ready to now and now we have to just check the request is requesting is request is coming fine or not so right here request input just echo, echo it okay so we have to uh, use it with the print r because this is the array not a string and for printing an array we need to print r okay so we have the two tokens one is the token and another is the button so i have to make one more thing actually i forgot to put the name here of my input field all right now just check the name okay so you can see that now we have three parameters first is token second is the name and third is the button so we will show save the name in our session so that just use the name with the input parameter and you can check it okay so for session we have to use dollar request the arrow session which is actually a function and the put property put function and put have the two parameter ones for the name of the session and another and another when one is uh, value actually all right so now we can return it with the our view which is the about so here we can pass the two parameter first is no we have just pass one parameter which is the name of our um, view and i am going to write here with and what why we use the with function is with function is used for pass the data with the uh with the view so my second parameter is okay so just uh in the second parameter i am retrieving my session so for retrieve i have to use request underscore session underscore or uh, arrow with the get and pass the name of the session which is the name all right so let's see is it working fine or something else okay so let's check it okay just try to pass the about page only okay i just misspell the return here and check it once again assume the name is undefined okay so all right okay so our this page is blank now 
uh, now come to the about dot blade dot php and write here dollar name because this is the name is an array which is passed with the view so now just refresh it and you can see that hi and the name of that name of the person will be written okay so like i'm going to write mm, 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 joy so you can see that hi joy so this is the basic fundamental behind the session of laravel and if you still have any, any kind of confusion put me in the comment give a thumbs up on the like button don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video